Good morning. This is Dr. Kemi Olunlaya. It's Monday, August 28th, 2023. I wanted to let everybody know that my campaign for drug abuse prevention and education with the NDLE, the National Drug Law Agency in Nigeria, has ended. It took me 18 months to educate Nigerians at home and abroad, on the streets and the schools and the communities and in the workplaces about the dangers and the perils of drug abuse. Prevention is the only way to stop this, and it's not one person's job. I was never an ambassador with the NDLE. I was never an affiliate, a contractor, a consultant. I was just a member of the community like you. I reached out to the NDLEA in February of 2022 and told them that I have something to offer. It's a volunteer initiative I did in America, and here's the proof. I even pinned a tweet on my ex account to show all the work I did in Baltimore, Maryland, USA in 1997 to 2000 when we had that drug epidemic, which led to a lot of gang violence and a lot of gun violence. So 30 years later, it's my country and I'm in my country. Why not? The NDLEA responded via Twitter and I launched my own campaign. I named it End Drug Abuse NG and Drug Abuse Niger and Drug Abuse Africa. I did education. I showed people what the drugs were. I showed people what the drugs could do. I explained it. And then videos started coming out of our young people in Nigeria hooked on all kinds of drugs, especially Colorado. All over TikTok, I was seeing videos of young people suffering from Colorado, impaired from Colorado, but yet some people made it entertainment, which it wasn't. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency is there to enforce the law when it comes to drug abuse and also to stop the drug supply. However, that's good. But right now, it is about the drug demand. Someone has to stop that. And that's where I am. Reducing the drug demand, meaning that you that like the drug, that want the drug, that want to buy the drug, I have to reduce your urge to want to get the drug. If you don't want to get the drug, the dealer doesn't sell anything. So now NDL is on the other side of enforcement, reducing the drug supply. A lot of people criticize me saying that, oh no, it's not even about who smokes, it's about how it enters the country. And that's what they're doing. Chairman Marwa has been the NDLEA chairman for a couple of years now. That appointment, I believe, is five or six years. And he's doing a good job. I can remember when Lagos was filled with drugs during the 80s. Somewhere towards the 90s, Marwa became the governor of Lagos. And he handled that drug problem in Lagos very well. Area boys on the streets, all kinds of operations. Nobody could stand on the streets anyway. There were no area boys. That's just what it was. General Mara did a really good job, and I think that's the reason that President Buhari appointed him as the new NDLEA chairman. One of the things I felt was missing in the NDLEA was treatment and education. President Buhari launched the WADA program, War Against Drug Abuse in Schools, in 2022. I took the WADA program to my communities, and I started educating people. Throughout 2022 and up to 2023, before I left my home in Lagos, February of 2023, and left the country eventually, I went to a lot of schools, a lot of communities, and a lot of workplaces. I can't show you all the videos, all the pictures and everything, but from the days I was in Ibadan, I would go to schools and tell kids about drugs and the dangers. Anytime I met a young person on the streets of Lagos, anywhere, it was always about drug abuse. I give him a short lecture about drugs. I take a selfie, we do something together. The reason is because drug abuse is not activism, it's advocacy, meaning that everyone's an advocate. I get a lot of people send messages to me, oh, Dr. Kemi, please, how do I volunteer? These people are not where I am. To volunteer my campaigns in school was not a movement. Some people thought it was a movement, it's not. It's advocacy. That's why I've always told the NDLEA that they don't need ambassadors. I was once asked to be an ambassador, but I didn't want to be. At the end of the day, it's not activism. It's advocacy. Everyone is an ambassador to the NDLEA. Every single person. I want to commend and congratulate Naira Marley for coming forward to fight the war on drugs 
and also to educate his fans, the Marleyans. If every celebrity can actually go out and educate their fans and tell them not to do drugs, it'll be a great thing. We also have a lot of celebrities who are actually trafficking the drugs, doing the drugs. And these young fans look at them and emulate them. And this is one thing we have to work on. I have been a presenter in the NDLE spaces about three or four times. One of the presentations I did was on tramadol and the effect of tramadol and what it can do. Tramadol is a legal drug, okay? It comes from 50 milligrams to 250. But in Nigeria, 50 milligrams is the limit. If a doctor has to prescribe 100 milligrams, we'll have to tell you to take two tablets or two capsules. However, the 200, the 250, the 125, the 150, the 225, all those high strengths are banned in Nigeria, but they're entering the streets of Nigeria. We see the NDL is seizing 4.8 billion worth of tramadol last month alone. This has to stop. This is a drug that's used to manage pain. If it's not pain, it goes to the pleasure centers and then it causes massive addiction. It costs millions to get off drugs. Most people don't want to go to the public hospitals or even the NDLE centers. But can they afford the private hospitals that are charging three, four, five million? No. The NDLE help center is there to help you. You dial 0800. It's a toll free number, 0800. 10, 20, 30, 40. 0800, 10, 20, 30, 40. The sequence of numbers is easy. You can read it off your head. Start to be the one to educate the next person with you. Let's keep drugs away from our workplaces, our schools, and our communities. I have done my part. I did my 18-month campaign. It was supposed to be 12 months, but I continued every single Friday, 3 to 5 p.m., for at least 15 months out of that 18 straight, I was on the NDLE spaces on Twitter. I was a speaker on the panel. Even Mr. Babafemi, Femi Babafemi, the spokesperson, started calling me the senior member. It's interesting because any of us could be the senior member. Any of you can come on that panel. And we have people that came. Shout out to Loretta from America as well. And other people, Asma. Okay, another Nigerian lady who saw so many things happening in the North. Asma contributed a lot. So many people were in those spaces. And you two could be on there. For now, I'm going to take a break because I have to work on my project, Kemi Fight Africa. Kemi Fight Africa is on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Kemi Fight Africa. Wellness for African women. I have to travel a lot. I've already started traveling. Some of you saw me in Ghana. Some of you saw me in Sierra Leone, Senegal. I have to travel 54 countries in Africa. Interview women on the streets, on the job. Interview first ladies. It could not be possible all the time to do these things because of war and conflict in parts of Africa. But I'll do as much as I can. I want to thank everybody that joined my campaign. I want to thank the NDLE agents I met. Chairman Marwa's office is open. If you're a celebrity, you want to meet with Marwa, you want to help something, you know, yeah, stop by. Naramali did it, you can do it too. Encourage your fans to stop using drugs. Drugs are not needed in any society. Drugs are used to manage medical, you know, conditions. Okay, legally, some of them are. Some of them are illegal and you should not be using it. You should not be lowering your self-esteem that you feel you need a drug to do this, to do that. The music industry needs to wake up. Drugs is killing people. People are going crazy. A lot of people are affected. There is help. There's rehabilitation. Remember, 0800 10 20 30 40. I told the NDLA yesterday that I'm ending my campaign. I did all this without funding. I contacted 39 governors, 36 sitting, three, you know, past governors. Everyone ignored me. But I tried my best and I did what I needed to do and I'm done. Do your part too for Nigeria. I'm out of Nigeria now, but I'll be watching what's going on. I told the NDLA I'll be stopping by on their spaces as time permits for me. Too many time differences and time zones as well. For now... I'm Dr. Kemi Olunlaya, Nigerian pharmacist, journalist, and PR specialist. Thank you so much for following everything. My work is archived on Twitter, that's X, and Facebook, and already archived away on Instagram. Some of the social media platforms won't even let us monetize our work, but I did it, and I'm done. Thank you, everybody. 
August 28, 2023.